Are you sick and tired of chasing your clients to provide you with documents, answer questions, or taking actions such as filling in forms or confirming receipt of important documents? Then you need a client portal for Zoho CRM. With a custom client portal for Zoho CRM, you will be able to send all your document requests, questions, and approvals to your clients with a click of a simple button in the Zoho CRM deals module or you can integrate it as part of your blueprint. Your client will receive a single email, which is completely customizable. And in that email, they'll have a button to their dedicated client portal. When your client clicks on that button, they'll see all of the items that you've asked them to complete. This might be questions, provide documents, or approve things, which your client can deal with at any time of the day or night. If your client doesn't do what you've asked them to do, then the system will automatically chase them until they do. When your client does respond to an item, you'll simply be able to click accept and that item will be automatically saved to the CRM. If that item is a document, the document will automatically save to your client's work drive folder. If you have to reject an item, this will also be as simple as clicking a button. But in that case, you'll enter a reject reason. This reject reason will go into a completely customizable email that will be sent to your client explaining why you've rejected that item. There'll be a button taking them back to their client portal and there they can respond to you again, either providing you with a different document or a better quality copy or whatever the problem might have been. In my course, I will teach you how to make this system completely from scratch. So by the end of the course, you will know how to customize your client portal for your exact business needs. Throughout the course, you'll pick up skills in Zoho CRM, including blueprints, workflow rules, functions, and buttons. You will also learn Zoho Creator, where you'll learn about workflow rules and HTML pages. You'll also learn about Zoho Forms, Zoho Work Drive, and Zoho Flow. Let's pop into my screen and I'll show you how this all works. So now we're in an example deal and you can see that the current stage of this deal is proposal sent. That means I'm waiting for the client to get back to me and tell me that they would like to go ahead with my services. When the client gets back to me, I would click start client portal. Now what this does is this automatically creates their client portal and starts creating what's called client portal items. You can see here there's two showing right now, but there'll be five in total if we refresh. It also sets some fields down here, which we use in the client portal. So you can see it's marked the client portal status as started. It's created a folder on work drive and saved the ID here. We can click on this link to access that folder. And inside this folder, you can see that there are two subfolders for the two different documents that we've requested from the client. Now, back on our deal, you can see we also have a client portal hash. This is the code that will be used to direct the client to their specific client portal. If this hash doesn't match up to this record, it won't load these details when we try to load the client portal. And it set this time field here to say when to send the first email to the client. The reason we need to do this is because we need to wait for all of these things to be done before we send the client the email. So the most efficient way to do that is to have this date time field and then to initiate another workflow off of this field. But within the course, you learn all about that and how to do it. So now we wait until this time has passed. Okay, so it's now passed this time. So if we refresh our record, we can now see that there are five client portal items on the left-hand side here. So these are the five items we've asked the client to respond to. If we go up to my email, as the client, I have now received this email, welcoming me to my portal and giving me instructions on what to do next. Within the course, you learn how to make this template and how to modify it to make it customized to your business. So now let's see what the client sees when they access their client portal. There we go. So this is all completely customizable. You can change your logo. You can change what this says, which messages show. You can see that this here is a field from the CRM that I'm displaying to the client. You can also see that I've got some logic here working out whether or not the client has paid me. Now it looks up when we sent them the invoice and it can tell that the invoice hasn't been paid yet. Inside my CRM, I've got a URL to my invoice saved in the deal record. So I can have this button display for the client to click on. And when they click on this, it'll take them to my invoice where they can pay it online. In this case, I'm just using an example invoice, but this would be my Zoho books invoice with a pay now button. All right, so now let's go back to the CRM and make it look as though the client's paid us. And let's just set this as yesterday. 
And now let's go back to the client portal and refresh. There we go. Now the client portal can see that the client has paid and now shows them the project start date instead of the button asking them to pay. It also shows the client these five items that we've asked for. These are just the five example presets that I've set on my example system. You can set this to be whatever serves your business purposes best. We've got an external application form that the client needs to fill in on a third party website. So when the client clicks to respond, they're shown, have you completed the application form found at, and then the website to the external application form. You can change how this looks. You can increase the size of the font. You can put pictures here. You can do whatever you like. But for the purposes of this course, I've just shown a pretty simple client response form. So we're going to say here, yes, we have filled in that application form and click submit. Now this comes back to us as a pending review item, because we might need to check on the third party website, whether or not that application form has been completed by the client. This is quite a common thing that I found my clients need is they need us to give their clients instructions to go do something on a third party website that we are unable to talk to from Zoho. So we need to instruct the client to do this and then tell us once it's done, then we'll check if it's done, then we'll confirm yes, it's done or no, it's not done. We also ask them for proof of address. So let's respond as the client and provide a proof of address document. And now click submit. Now the system has automatically rerouted the client back to the client portal and shows them that their proof of address has been received and is pending review. Let's upload a proof of ID and click submit. There we go. See how easy this is for your client. They can do this at any time of the day or night. You can also include additional instructions on here explaining how you want the documents to be. You can show that either on this web page or you can show it on the document response form. It's totally up to you. Finally, let me show you the approvals. In my property business, I have specific documents that I have to give to tenants before they move into a property. So in this case, I would say to them, please confirm you've received this specific document. So the client would then click here to respond. They can see the link to the document and our system says, please confirm receipt of the following document. So the client says, I agree and submit. There we go. Now, because all they had to do was confirm receipt of a document, there's no need for us to review that. It goes straight to completed, but we need to review these items. And I'm going to leave this item as outstanding to show you the automatic chasing. So let's come out of this and now let's go to our client portal items. Now you can see all of the pending review items. This is a custom view that shows us just the items that are pending our review. We can see at the top here, we have the question to the client, have you completed the application form found at? And then this would be the third party website. Now you would go to your third party website and check that you've received the application form from your client. And then you would come in here and respond. So let's click into this one and let's say the client has completed it. So we'll click accept and the notes application form received. Now, this is just a handy way for us to keep an order trail as to who on your team has accepted this. You can set who has access to which buttons and you can force them to add this note or not. It's completely up to you and you learn how to do that as part of the course. Now, this is a message that gets shown at the top of the client portal. It doesn't currently show because we haven't set anything yet, but here we can set a message if we want to. So for example, we can just write static message to client at the top of the client portal. Now, next time we load into the client portal, that message will display at the top. Now you can see that this item has been marked as completed. You can also see that there's a note here showing which user accepted the item. Now let's go back to the client portal as the client. Now we can see our static message to the client at the top of the page. If we scroll down, we can also see that the application form item has now been marked as completed, but we still have two pending review items. So let's go back to the system and deal with those two items. Proof of address. Now for documents, we'll click view item folder. This now takes us into the folder for this specific item. So if the client has uploaded 50 documents, all 50 of them for this item will be shown in this folder. You can then have a look at these items, check that it meets your criteria, and if it does, you can close out of here and click accept. And we'll just say fine. And we can either change or leave our static message to the client. Save. Let's go deal with our final item that's pending review. So this is the proof of ID. 
So if we go to view item folder, we can see that the client has uploaded this proof of ID. Let's pretend like there's a problem with this proof of ID. So let's reject it and tell the client, unfortunately, the document you have provided is unsuitable. Please upload the photo page of your passport for your driving license. Here, we'll make a note just saying incorrect document. So there's an order trail and we click save. Now, if we go back to the client portal and refresh, we can now see that our proof of address has been accepted and is now completed, but this item has been rejected. So your client wouldn't be sitting here refreshing their client portal. They would need to be informed that this item has been rejected. So how the system works is if you look at the timeline, in five minutes time, an email will be sent to the client telling them that their item has been rejected. This can't happen instantly, but it'll happen five minutes after we submit our findings. It's based on this date time field down here. Back here, we can see that this item has been rejected and this item we're still waiting for an answer on. So if we come out of the client portal and we go back to our deal, and let's pretend like we can fast forward time and let's change our next chase date from tomorrow at 8.10 to today at 8.35. That means in nine minutes time, it's going to send the client an automatic chase email. So let's wait for that to happen. Now the next chase time has passed and you'll see that I've received two emails. Firstly, I've received the response to action rejected email, and this is the one that explains to the client that unfortunately we've had to reject one of their items, and it gives them the button to log back into their portal to try again. And we've also got the chase email. Now bear in mind, the chase email would have only been sent tomorrow, but we brought this time forward to just show you how the automatic chasing works. And here it says to the client that they need to carry on. If we go back into the client portal now, as the client and let's respond to these two items. So let's give the proof of ID again and submit. And now let's give the answer to the question. There we go, submit. So the client has now answered everything and dealt with everything they need to do. So they wouldn't be chased again. Now it's up to us to deal with these pending review items. So now if we come out of here, back on our CRM system, we go back to our pending review client portal items. We can now see that there are further two items that require our attention. We have the start date question and we have the proof of ID. So the start date question, he said, anytime that suits us. So let's accept that. And in the notes, we'll say client happy to start work whenever. And We'll change the static message now to say, thank you. We will start work on 09 March, 2022 save. And now we can go back to our final item, which is the proof of ID. We can check the folder. We can see we have the old one and we have the new one. So it keeps a record of all the old ones that you get. So this one we'll say we're happy with. So we click accept, proof of ID okay, leave this message the same, save. And now if we go back to our deal and refresh and go back to our client portal and refresh, we can now see it says, thank you, we'll start work on the 9th. And it shows that all the items are completed. So we can close out of our client portal and on our deal, if we scroll down here, we can see that the client portal is now marked as completed. And if we go to our email, we now have an email saying, thank you, everything has been completed. But you'll note that the client can still log into the client portal to receive updates from you using this field. And you might also have other items from your deal or from other records on the system that you want to show to the client. The purpose of the course is to teach you how this is built so you can use those skills to customize it completely to your needs. But I'm very happy with the way this works out the box, but I'm sure you'll find great ways to customize it for your specific business. To purchase the course, 
go to training.zepartner.net. And here you'll find all the information about us along with any courses that we have on sale. Thank you very much. And let me know if you have any questions.